All right, guys, I got all my, my cleaning basket and my vacuum. Let's go clean the new trailer. Let's get it all up to par so that we can go camping. toy hauler right now. We're doing like a deep clean because it was used. Cleared out everything out of all the cabinets. They left everything, which it's cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, awesome. We're just making sure everything works. We got the hot water working, the stove works, the oven works. I just figured that out. We have to actually light the pilot light. It doesn't just click on like our other stove does. The microwave works. AC's been on for hours. It works great. The fan is loud. Oh, it's better now. Well, I, I was about to buy another one, but it works. <laughs> anyway, everything works. My wife's just been cleaning up the windows and just making sure everything's good, going through all the cabinetry. I mean, it looks great now. I mean, I feel like we just got a little bit more. To do. No, I think we might get some new curtains. I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out. And then maybe some new TVs. We can't get the TVs to work. And some Apple TVs I think we're gonna get as well. Anyway, everything works good. So we're gonna just continue cleaning this up and um, get it ready for our trip in a couple months. Good morning and welcome back up to the homestead in Southern Utah. This video is gonna be a little different than all of our other videos. <laughs> we're so, gonna show you our hobbies. Yeah, well yeah. <laughs> so we're going to Vegas again, cause that's where her family is and everything and all of our, everyone's there. So we're gonna go hang out in Vegas for a few days cause uh, I don't know if you remember in a few videos ago, we took our Can-Am to the dealer to sell it and the reason why we're doing that is because we're getting a new one and that is happening today so we're getting a brand new 2022 and then i don't know if we're spoiled or what but we're used to like all the mods the mods, the mods on it right we don't just get a stock machine and, and and use it like that you need a radio and a, a like to talk to your buddies and a stereo to jam out and all sorts of stuff right we are going to be picking up our new can-am i guess my nephew nick He's going to, we're gonna we're gonna be like taking apart the Can-Am so that we can start putting on all of this stuff. It's exciting, I'm super excited because we just got our trailer too. So here in like a month or two, we're gonna start going back to the dunes. Hopefully you guys follow along with this video and kind of see what we do, see, see what it takes to mod out a UTV and all that stuff. If you guys Let's are interested it. in side-by-sides, this is the video for you. <laughs> <laughs> But it's 9.30, almost, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. We're, we're still up on the property. We're leaving right now down to Vegas. We're loaded up, so let's go. See you guys. pretty hard with some rain last night. It's turning our roads into like a really muddy clay. Well, like two minutes into our trip down the hill, 
there's a toy hauler stuck in the mud right out the gate like we couldn't even get out so we had to get out and help him we cut down a tree he took his side by side out of his toy hauler and now the side by sides is in front of him and we're following right behind him right now there's it's like a one lane road if he gets stuck we're gonna help him out but it's gonna take a little while to get out of here i'm pretty sure check it out I think he's got it, yeah. That like area right there, there's like a little dip and it's all like there's like a stream that runs through there. So a lot of times it's a lot more motion than everything else. I wait here just to make sure that you know, that's good stuff. we made it into Las Vegas. It's always like a good and a bad feeling when we get here. Like just that, <laughs> that city feeling where you're like back to the nitty gritty, like you're back to like, the nitty -gritty. there's something about it. Like my skin just turns a little bit oilier. Like my, yeah. like there's like a, traffic. like a, there's traffic. There's a little bit more weight on our shoulders. There, I'm going to tell you being out in the middle of nowhere and enjoying the silence and the nature and the fresh air, and all of that is so incredibly beautiful. And then when you come back here, you know you need to come back here. You know you have to go into the city to get some of your necessities or to see family and friends or whatever. But there's just always this like feeling when you come back that's like, it's just, it's just a really like a weight on your shoulders. And then when you get back up to the property, it's just so <laughs> calming. It's not even that soon. Like as soon as you leave Vegas, you're like, huh. Yeah. Or a, I'm, I don't know if it's like that with other towns, but. Yeah, I don't know if it's like that with other cities, but I, I know for us, that's how we feel. Like I grew up here and I love this city and I, I've had so many uh, incredible experiences here, but there's just the, the peace and the serenity and the, and the nature of being up in the middle of nowhere that is just so refreshing. Right, Nelly? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> But we're here, we made it. We're gonna go see my parents. We're gonna uh, do the Can-Am and all of that shenanigans. So let's have some fun. Now we have this, an iPad, so we can choose all of our songs that are in our library our iTunes library, and then it'll act as like the head unit, so we do the volume and switch the song, so it's gonna be like a big old LCD screen on it. So like, a head unit is like 500 bucks, this was like 300 bucks, so it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boy. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks, man. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Be careful with it. Don't break the leg. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting tired. 
Well, we just went to Four Wheel Parts, got a bunch of the parts like uh, that we're gonna be putting on the PCI radio, some lights, some Baja Design lights, some Switch Pros. Like this is a very expensive sport if you guys didn't know that or couldn't tell. But we're going to uh, our nephew's friend Ryan, who like builds side by sides in his garage. So we're gonna go take our car over there. He's gonna be kind of like putting everything together for us. We're gonna start disassembling everything. car to where it's gonna get all the mods done first thing we're gonna do uh, we're gonna put the gusset kit which is like a bulkhead that goes inside here that toughens up everything in here there's a lot of there's a lot of movement anyways um, we're gonna get to work <laughs> Welcome back, Johnny on the spot here. <laughs> I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. We're calling it a night, we dismantled the whole front of my brand new car. It's in pieces, there's bolts everywhere. We are ready to install the gusset kit, which is right in this box, this is it right here. Just to beef up the front. We're going to bed. Good afternoon, you guys. My wife's been doing her beauty stuff for the day. Doesn't yeah. she look so beautiful? My lashes. I don't know, everyone talks about your lashes. They're, they, <laughs> they love them, <laughs> apparently. I, don't know. I think you're hot, so Thanks, whatever. Thanks, babe. Anyway, it matters. <laughs> but right now we are stopping at a local like uh, UTV store. I just found out that one of my paddle tires had a hole in it and they're so thin like they're really hard like they're telling me that you can't repair them so rather than like chance it and try to repair it and go to the dunes and then it go flat on me i'm just i just got a new set like you can't just buy one you have to buy a whole set i'm gonna pick up our new set right now and then what and then i think and i think we're gonna go after we pick these up we're gonna go back to the can-am and start working again um, my nephew nick just got off work or he's getting off work in the next like 20 minutes or something and then we're gonna get to work and try to bust out a ton of stuff yeah but right now we're gonna go play in your favorite toy store we got some cool rims and everything, so we're gonna take you guys in there with us and show you what we got. Yeah, let's go. All right, well, my nephew and my niece just got off work. We're back at the, the Can-Am. We're gonna get to work and what are we doing today? Taking the cage off or are we gonna finish the front? I'm taking the cage off, it's too hot to work in the sun right now. All right, we're gonna take the cage off and then see where, maybe a little later, we're gonna try to finish the front clip because the sun is right on the front of the car. So let's get busy.
we're gonna take the cage off, move it outside. This thing's heavy. Let's do it. Ready? Do you want to go back with it first? Yeah. Back. It's hot. Okay, a cage changes the look of the car completely. The thing looks awesome. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna look at it for a little bit. <laughs> we figured that we spent money on, we don't know what, we just felt like spending some extra money. Okay. <laughs> oh no. my gosh. Uh, some of you might be wondering why we bought a cage, because it comes with one. It does come with one, but this is just stronger and more safe. Other than that, just being more safe, that's the most thing, but makes the, the complete change of the car. It looks uh, more aggressive. I don't know, like... Just... I like that the bars in the front. The intrusion bars in the front right here, like the the A, kind of prevents anything from coming in the window or the windshield when you're driving. Anyway, it's just, it's just like structurally more safe, so that's why you get them, but also it just changes the whole look of the car. Got you, baby. So now we're taking the seats out. It's like a whole new car. You got the bag for that? taking the seats out <laughs> uh, so they can get the wiring and everything for the stereo the radio the lights and everything like that so they can hide all the wires you know what I'm super excited for my husband is putting in seat heaters for me thanks hubby because sometimes it gets really cold at the dunes should doesn't
springs, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Good morning. Uh, I think it's afternoon. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, today we're headed back up to Southern Utah to our homestead. Our trip to Vegas was awesome. We did a lot of stuff to the Can-Am, but it's still in pieces as you saw last night. Um, they're going, we have a couple friends like we were talking about that are gonna finish everything up for us and then we'll come down at the, the tail end of the install, hopefully get like a last day of like helping them out and everything. Um, hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a little different than homesteading, but that's just part of our hobby. that's our hobby. That's what we like to do. So we just want to show you what we uh, what we're into. Leave in Vegas. We're leaving Vegas. We are going to 100 degrees. Utah. Oh, I know it's 100 and some degrees. It's back to 70 degrees and like 50 at night. I'm down. I can't wait. We're driving. So we'll see when you get when we'll see you when we get up there. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Everyone was like, wash your truck, wash your truck. Yeah, yeah we washed it and it's yeah. muddy again. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, whoever you were. <laughs> we're home. Yay. Everybody happy to be home? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a good trip to Vegas. Had a lot of fun with family and got to see our new k &M. We're super excited about that. It's been a long day. I think it's going to be the end of this video. So if you guys it liked is. it. I know it was different, but if you liked it, please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys here in a few days. See ya!